Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley, physical therapist, life coach, and health coach, and I'm excited about the day. And here's why. I'm keeping my commitments. I'm keeping my commitments. With the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to keep my commitments today. And here's why I'm talking about this. I recently had a girl that had joined one of my challenges, and she uh, had a lot of health issues, and she had and so I, I don't, if she's listening, I'm not picking on her. I'm just using her as an example because we all do this. And that's why I'm doing this video. We all do this. So she had committed and then life happened and she wanted to pull out. And so my question to her was, what's changed? What's changed about you wanting to be a healthier version of you. So that's the question I'm asking you today. What what have you committed to in the past? Maybe it was to go to a small group or maybe it was to read your Bible more or to pray more or to or to get healthy or to quit drinking or quit using drugs or to quit getting angry or to quit, you know, whatever. And you you started off really good, but then you fizzled, and now you're right back to where you are. And here's why I was talking to two men yesterday that um, the one man has started an, a, a recovery group, and he's like, yep, yeah, that's what happens with addicts. It's what happened with me. He was like in 13 recovery places before, you know, he's he's good now, and he's committed, and he said, I'm giving, what's different is I'm giving myself permission now to be a sober person. And in the past, I was giving myself permission to be an addict. And so for me, what, you know, what am I giving myself permission to do? There are things that I've committed to that I'm not following through like I wanted to. So I've done a reset, hit the reset button. That's what we have to do. We have to re hit the reset button, but when you do that, you ha you have to ask yourself the question, why am I doing this? And the why for me, with my prayer time and my devotion and, and doing it more uh, in depth, is because I want to I want to be closer to God. I want to hear from Him when I have a question. I don't want to wonder yet. Um, so I just. Um, I just want to encourage you, when you put your hand to the plow, don't look back. Don't look back. Stay with it. There is a benefit from it or you wouldn't be doing it. So you have to think about the benefit. You have to think about what it is you want and what, what is you want to be and be that person. Don't give yourself permission to nibble at night on unhealthy food or say, well, I can do my Bible study later. God understands. Or, you know, I don't really have to be, you know, my anger is just, you know, my daddy was anger, so angry. So I, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just how I am. You know, those are, those are excuses and any excuse will do if you're looking for one. So I just want to encourage you to put your hand to the plow. Don't look back. And go back and revisit those commitments that you made and ask yourself why, and let's go forward. So, hey, Kay, good to see you. Hey, Sandy, good to see you too. Y'all have a great day, and please share the video. And here's the question I would love for you to answer. Have you committed to something that you haven't followed through? Put yes or no. And if you put yes, put what are you going to do? I'm going to revisit. All right, have a great day.